Hi everyone, this is Douglas from CMSoft and today we're going to discuss how to use OpenCL to speed up simulated annealing algorithm for minimization of functions with multiple local minima. Let me start running the code in the CPU as this, this would take uh, uh, some time and we're going to talk about the method. So simulated annealing is a technique used to minimize functions that uh, have multiple local uh, minima so that it's not it's not guaranteed that we will find the best solution that minimizes the function. Nonetheless, it's possible to implement algorithms, heuristics, that try to get to a good solution. And the simulated annealing is one of those algorithms. Now one important characteristic of the simulated annealing is that it is very suitable for this type of problem because each OpenCL work item works completely independently for 250 steps in this configuration and at each joint step the host code finds out what was the best value found so far and discards values that were not good good values they were too far from the minimum and so that at each synchronization point the work items cooperate with each other but most of the time they run in a completely parallel fashion so we've seen that to optimize this Ackley function it took almost two minutes now we're going to run this algorithm using OpenCL we see that the runtime is almost instantaneous and we achieve an acceleration of 240x. Now in other tests with more dimensions I've achieved speed ups of the order of 500. Let me show you uh, how this algorithm works graphically. So what we have here is a plot of the Ackley function. Notice that it has multiple valleys. It has many maxima and many minima and still uh, each line here is one work item. We see that it converges to to the minimum of the function. They all become kind of concentrated in this region. Let me repeat the test. So we have here the surface and this is the minimization going on here. We see the Ackley surface here and we see that the work item, each, light, each line corresponds to one work item and they are converging to the minimum of this function here. OpenCL enables us to run this code with more dimensions than two and still get to very good results in very little time. See, I've just used this, the algorithm to minimize the Eccle function with six dimensions and it didn't take a second and it still got to a very good solution the true optimal point for this function is the zero 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 is the origin it's, it's a very interesting method to implement in order to solve these functions so here I've tried running the algorithm with 12 variables and it didn't get to a very good point but I can solve that by, use, by changing the configuration of the method. I will use more steps between sinks and um, I'll keep this initial temperature which is a configuration of the method. And we see that this time it still didn't take one second and it got to a very good solution. Uh, this could easily take uh, 500 times more what it took using the GPU because of the uh, intrinsic uh, parallel characteristics of this problem. Now in this, pro in this case since we have around 8 kilobytes or 16 kilobytes a very limited amount of, sp of space in local memory and each work item keeps a copy of its current X this algorithm is somewhat limited but it, it will work fine for problems with uh, low dimensions. <coughs> if the dimension is very large another approach should be tried. 
And in this case, notice also how we use the native functions in order to speed up calculations, like native calls. Feel free to try new function values, and we hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Feel free to leave comments, send us an email, and download the source code. Thank you.